What's going on guys? So I wanted to do a quick reminder for y'all that it is pretty much the beginning of Balls for Balls. The 30th marks the actual beginning of submission time. Uh, so anybody who's ready for that, good to go. In fact, I have one entry, well, entry so far, and that's uh, my good buddy Josh Fisher. He's at least paid. He hasn't actually started on his kit yet, but he has entered the contest, so to speak or signed up or registered or whatever you want to call it. So let's call it registry. Uh, also, I'll be doing a video as a feature. Uh, there was a guy who contacted me, or actually I found him on Facebook, and he contacted me and he entered. Uh, unfortunately, he lives in the Philippines, and being that this was not an international uh, competition this time. Sadly, I had to tell him he couldn't compete, but I told him I would definitely feature his build because it's super awesome. And I did offer him the chance to take the refund because I felt bad that he entered and he couldn't actually compete. But he said, hey, it's for charity. Let it ride. So thanks for that. I'll be doing that as a whole separate feature later. But what this is about is to remind you, of course, that the contact is happening. In case you've forgotten, uh, Zacharelius's contact has gone. You have plenty of time right now to build, submit, customize, whatever you want to do. Also merch store is up the balls for balls charity store is up on the teespring it'll be in the link down below i wanted to talk about the merchandise right now so i have showed off the original design which is this and well it looks the way it looks because it does it's balls for balls and of course the color of the month is blue now this is a lighter blue here on the ribbon than uh the thing it is actually royal blue but uh, we have lots of merchandise with this standard logo on it with featuring lefty and righty. Um, however, because not all gentlemen who have been through testicular cancer came out the other side complete, so to speak, uh, there are options. So, for those inclined, you have a lefty only version, which is actually pretty cool. You have a righty only version. We were going to do a empty version, uh, but that seemed a little bit cruel, if I'm honest. I mean, I'm sure it has happened and that sucks, but um, also sort of takes away from the content. However, there is another option. There is lefty and haro. There's righty and haro. So, you know, their prosthetics do exist. So that's the idea. The haro is the fill-in. And just for fun, whether this is a reality or if you just want this version of the shirt, there's also the double haro. Now, this particular design um, uh, got me in a little bit of trouble. I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it at that. It is what it is. But if you want to buy any of this stuff, there are t-shirts, there are hoodies, there are long sleeve shirts. There's a tote bag, there's mug. There's stickers, both with the regular Balls for Balls logo, or like the actual text logo, or all of the variations thereof. And uh, offering everyone free shipping, because I want to maximize this as much as possible. I know the shipping can get annoying. So if you use the code BALLS4B, it was really weird about the, the actual code, so BALLS4B, here on the screen, down in the description, if you order your stuff, use that code, you will get free shipping. Um, I thought there was a thing where uh, if you order a whole lot, you can get a discount. Apparently, that's like in bulk, so that doesn't really apply here, sadly. But if you guys want to buy any of the variations, of course, they come in all kinds of colors, including royal blue. So you can actually have the shirt in, well, uh, the premium tee at least, you can have that shirt in the uh, proper color for the thing. So, yay! So by all means, show your support for this contest, for this thing. And of course, all profits uh, go towards the thing. Now, unfortunately, I did think that there was a donate to charity only option. I believe I got that confused with the ticketing system that we used last year. I think I got confused there. So I'll still have to pay some of the fees out for transfer to PayPal, stuff like that. Um, but it's not going to be nearly as much money as we lost last year. There's a, there's very minimal fees lost from uh, from the Teespring store to PayPal. Then, of course, to the uh, actual bank account that we donated from. So, there's that. So, yay. Also, oh, 
30th is the beginning of when you guys can submit your actual entries. You don't have to wait that long to buy or buy in your ticket, so to speak, to register. By all means, you can do that at any given time. You don't have to wait till that deadline. It was just that the 30th was when you could start sending in your, in your actual submissions. I look forward to it. I know there's a lot of people who are planning on doing so. And now that Zucker Releases contest is over, maybe you guys have some more time that you can actually donate to the, or not, well, actually, yeah, donate to this or compete. Um, I have to start on mine sometime soon. I have so many projects, and I don't want to start, um, you know, just kind of throwing them on top of each other. I, the, the one I want to do is minor, so to speak. It's going to involve my balls, which are, well, they're right here. They're actually over here behind me. Uh, along with some other stuff I'd picked up that we've seen in a previous in the kitchen with Shoki and uh, depending on which way I want to go with it will uh, determine uh, the overall aesthetics of it but I already have the paint I needed to accomplish some of what I wanted to do so that's not gonna be a problem and uh, seeing how some of the builds are already done that actually makes it easier so it's basically like doing minor kit bashes and stuff just as a teaser I'll probably probably do a minor build log that the patrons can see. I'm trying to do Patreon exclusive content because they help me out. But we're not here to promote me just in, for the thing. It's also to help. This is for the contest. I just wanted to mention that. That if you wanted to see some cool stuff on the background, I'll probably do a Patreon only. Uh, speaking of which, I've got to crack down on stuff that I've got piled up here. I've got about 17 reviews. That's an exaggeration. But I've got at least seven things I need to film. I don't need to go ahead and do that. And I'm editing at the same time in the other room. So but I want to make sure this got out today so that you guys know shirts, all the things, all your options. Oh, um, there's a couple options in the store that I've actually unlisted, but for some reason are still showing. Uh, the designs were screwed up. Uh, there's the all balls option. Um, which is all the variations that actually got one of those was like massively out of alignment but didn't show it to me until the final product was listed so if you see that option don't click it <laughs> it's like there's also there's a version there's a couple versions of things that didn't have the logo on the front um, I did fix those but the old ones are still showing I don't I, I can't understand why the store says when I set it to unlist it I don't know why it has uh, done that. If I can figure it out, I'll do it. But either, guys, balls for balls. Yay! So, get out there, buy some shirts, get your contest entries done, go ahead and throw your money in so I can get you listed in the official list and all that stuff like that. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And honestly, I really want to see some exhibition class stuff. Because uh, oddly enough, the only people who have entered so far are advanced entries. No intermediates, no beginners, nothing like that. So, hopefully... Hopefully this will uh, get out there. I will share this video everywhere. And hopefully it won't offend anybody. So, see you guys later. Remember as always, keep on building. Ball.